For the first ten years of my life, I felt different from everyone else, and I had no idea why. How did I feel different? I didn't have as many friends as you did in primary school. I found it difficult to be understood, and this made me really upset. In fact, when I was three years old, nobody's voices made sense. They all sounded like water running out of a tap. I couldn't watch films without subtitles because I couldn't keep up with what the people were saying. In year one, I got an edition worksheet, which I thought was going to be so difficult, so I refused to do the whole thing because I didn't want to get any of them wrong. And if I did, I would show the whole class how angry I was. I strongly disliked surprises. For example, if I were to receive a mystery Christmas present, that would cause me great stress. And finally, I had a deep connection to the colour green. My brain told me to always choose green, say like if there was a choice of colours in a board game and someone else chose green, then that wouldn't please me. I think this has stayed with me. However, in 2015, my final year at primary school, I was informed that all the problems I had faced over these years were all due to a learning disability called Autistic Spectrum Disorder. I was shocked. I was confused. I was surprised. But when I learnt that autism could make me do amazing things that most people couldn't, I was delighted. Life in the spectrum of my autism can be a colourful way to live. I see some things differently to most of you. Although people's words, actions and expressions are quite confusing sometimes, Languages like music and maths are easy for me to understand. I can use them like an artist and I'll apply lots of attention to detail. I also have an incredible memory for dates. I can remember most of my classmates' birthdays and the release dates of my favourite songs, films and computer games. I have a strong interest in punctuality, so I choose never to be late for school. I also enjoy spag, and I'm ever so accurate at it. This might seem unusual for someone my age. Did you know there are over 700,000 people in the United Kingdom who are on the spectrum? Maybe we should look at them as artistic rather than autistic, and recognise that we're just painting in a different style. Please save the green paint for me.